Hello and welcome to Failure and Analysis. I'm playing Blood Bowl 2 with Elven Union. This is game 16 against Underworld Denizens. I've got some of those. Let's see what his team looks like. Let's see what his team look like. Looks like. Yakiste, I think I've played him before. 301. He's got leap and agility. What is this? And an agi thrower. A strength goblin. Ooh, he's going places with this team. Look at that beautiful. Beautiful nightmare. I was hoping he had tons of claw. But alas, 340k. <sighs> Glart, there's my claw. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I'm not sure about that move either. Those blitzers have really important roles to fill, and it's got nothing to do with cage diving. And Skitter. Sounds like a goblin. <laughs> uh oh, large sled's tilted. <laughs> Don't give him a soapbox. He'll get on it. <laughs> he has a lot to say about leap. It's unorthodox. Let's see how he uses it. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't even think about leap until I get an AG5 guy. Because then it just gets fun. Oh, he's getting rid of Skitter. Dr. Freckles, thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're in the mood to see some leaping Skaven. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to make that goblin someday. Horns and heads. <laughs> That's right. Get another one with guard. Go to town. Oof. Well, I would love to demonstrate elf teams, but here's the, here's the rub. Here's the disclaimer. I'm playing this elf team the way it was intended to be played by the designers, I believe, with a passing game, and is not actually <laughs> the most effective way to play the team. So... Take my play with that grain of salt. I'm going to show you how the passing play is sort of meant, is sort of meant to be played, but it's not the best approach. You always want to run the ball. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, elves are really no different in that. Job one is to run the ball into the touchdown with the guy you pick the ball up with, right? because you're just eliminating all those extra dice, all that extra risk. But I said, no, passing game. There must be a passing game renaissance in Blood Bowl. It'll never happen. <laughs> and as Larstad <laughs> rightfully claims, it's just a lot of extra risk, unless it's a desperation play. If job one 
isn't going to work, you can't get that guy to pick the ball up to run it into the touchdown, then you got to get creative, right? And Agi 4 are much better at getting creative than other teams, but it's still, it should not be. <laughs> it should not be plan A, right? But uh, I think it's really fun. And so I'm, I'm taking a slight break from the seriousness of competition and having a good time with nerves of steel and accurate. I'm trying to get strong on Tackle zones, you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Nerves of steel. I've got that covered. Three guys, no, four guys now with nerves of steel. One has strength four. They care not for tackle zones. And this guy usually sits way back here. Doesn't worry about getting harassed by these guys with leap. So we'll see how it goes. He's going to give me the sideline, so I'm going to take it. Sure hands, always good. Pass is amazing for when you're passing. Accurate, amazing at that moment you're passing. And the other 15 turns? <laughs> kind of a waste. Uh-oh. Offset LOS. We are in business. I want this guy to hit a gapo. I don't have any other block. Who's been watching the World Cup? <laughs> right. Yeah, happy to see it go to humans, even if they were bonus humans. Oh, I get a free shot at a three-string goblin? That sounds nice. Ooh, I gotta get Mighty Blow. In on the scoring. Oh, for the offset LOS, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He hasn't been watching any streamers. <laughs> watching. Because I was doing that with my elf team, my high elf team, a fair bit. And you can get away with it on ladder a fair bit. But then they all started talking about how terrible it was. And I'm still not convinced it's terrible. I can't let it go. Like, everyone jokes about how terrible it is. but Or how a good coach can exploit it. But... And I understand, especially on a quick drive, like I can score real easily on two turns now, but I don't understand. There are some specific advantages, even against really good coaches, that uh, I like. Ouch. Uh, for example, uh, perfect defense allows you to shift your line over so he does, they don't get hit. Forcing the opposing coach to fill the line to cover for that, which leaves him fewer players to, you know. So it's great for Blitz because you got seven players potentially here to make sure they get blocks. 
and he's only got four left to cover for the blitz, which makes it much harder. So you can put it, and if he has less than 11 dudes, he's even more in trouble. So I, uh, I really like that aspect of it. It also puts, if he doesn't cover for the perfect defense, it puts five dudes over here. So if you have kick or something like that, you can kick it to this region or this region, and it's much easier to penetrate potentially into the, their backfield because you've moved the center out of the way. So you, you know, you put, and we saw this in the, in the finals. He put his catcher over here. And so there are very, some very good things that you can get with it that uh, I really like. So don't know if the, if all of the ridicule is actually um, appropriate for the offset defense. Then again, what do I know? I'm definitely not the best player in the world. See this, I do this all the time. I don't secure the ball and I run in, over commit. <laughs> I haven't picked up the ball yet. Oh no, your three strength goblin. It's like he's stunned. that thing rampage sure pick up the ball Whoop. but yeah that's a good discussion point if anyone has any comments I'll read them in a second as soon as I finish my turn here Ugh, I don't really want to give my four strength niggled guy a chance to get fouled Let's see. Agree, a large said. Like for elf teams or fast teams, Skaven, etc. I think the offset still has a ton of advantages. Um, so maybe they're just talking about slow teams or bash teams using it. Which um, bash teams want you to go through the middle, right? Like it's when they're forced to shift from side to side that's when things get bad for for uh, bash teams. So. Um, and maybe that's the case they're talking about, which I can buy. Yeah, but I, I was really enjoying it with my high health team. I seem to get more perfect defenses when I do it also, so anything you can to, you know, superstitiously tweak those rolls. <laughs> Some people wear their magic socks when they fire up Blood Bowl. I prefer the offset LOS to get the extra perfect defense. Tackle is definitely something you want. By the time, no, he didn't get the landing. He's fine. Yeah, definitely want some tackle, right? By the end, but oof, one and nine. Yes, no SPPs. That's a shame. 
I was thinking about SPPs recently. In terms of... Did he get... Oh, he got up. That's amazing. In terms of, like, adjusting it. Like, I don't... There's a couple things I don't like. Talk about this a little bit after my turn here. I'm going to try and score. Um, yep, it's going to him. Captain Amazing. That's just what they call him. I don't... I don't know why they call him that. I don't know if that's fair, but... That's what they call him. Completely over committing here again. This pass doesn't work well. Is this a two plus? All right. By George, I think it is. A three plus? Ridiculous. Ooh. And there it is. The reason the passing play is rough. I'm still in a decent position here to uh, recover, but he can definitely GFI to flood the ball. Uh, so yeah, SPPs, I was thinking about SPPs, like, I guess the, there are things I don't like about SPP, how they're handed out. Um, one, I think the um, only giving SPPs on casualties is a bad idea. Um, one of the outcomes we've seen with that is that the specialists in removals or casualties casualty causing guys end up hogging all the SPPs um, so it makes it really difficult for other pieces to sort of catch up we've all seen the chaos teams that have like tons of level 2 and 3 guys and then one guy is level 7 and guess what guy that is um, and so sp spreading it out a little bit so that stuns could give a little and KOs could give a little and Kazas could give a little. I think would be a good change. Just fighting, you know, doing your blocks. Getting your blocks in will just give you some SPPs over time. Now, granted, you have to ask the question first of, do you like the rate at which teams are progressing? If the answer is yes, then you have to kind of rebalance every time you want to add points to some things. you got to take them from somewhere else. If the answer is... Um, no, and you would say that it comes in too fast, then obviously you can't add any. But if it's coming in too slowly, you have some wiggle room to add a little bit here and there. And uh, teams just progress more. I think it's pretty close right now, but I would say if I were to tweak it, it would be to tweak it to be just a little bit faster. Um, I don't think that enough players get to like level seven before they're killed, um, which is a shame. Like the average team should see a level seven guy sort of before the team becomes obsolete or killed off or you know done in like a a six week. Um, you know, ladder season, whatever it is. And then catching, I think, even from handoffs, I think she'd give a little bit of SVPs. I think that would be appropriate. Probably just as important as passing. Especially um, given how most people don't do passing. <laughs> you did try to warn me. The large thud. 
there I was, not listening. Well, I'm still throwing over this. What's the worst that could happen? A leaping interception. He's not safe. Um, yeah, so just thinking about that in general. It would also help balance out potentially who's getting. You can even do SVPs for dodges. Um, that's a, a little sketchier, but you basically want elf teams to get um, SPPs for doing elf things, which is not blocking as much, but dodging, passing, catching. Um, and you want bash teams to get SPPs for doing bashy things. And it, I mean, if you wanted to get crazy with it, it could also be team specific, right? Man, I gotta surf this guy and see where it goes. Hmm. Yeah, Dr. Freckles, it, the current game is short passing, TD spamming, it, it occasionally happens, um, but most games are 1, 1 to 0, 2 to 0, 2 to 1. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, and that's a whole other thing, right, like how often people score. And a lot of that is because of the incentives. I'm going to try and... Lock him down here without block. This doesn't give me a follow-up, but... Hey, if you get the pal, what are you going to do? Sorry, more on that in a minute. Oof. I can't see what the pass is, three plus. So do I go back one? Oh, terrible. A five plus intercepts. And you got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so taking advantage of it certainly right now is all in the um all in the sort of on the elf side of things um, the you know bash teams they just keep plugging away and hope the dice pay out with their blocks and casualties but elves can sit there when they're in control of the game and just pass back and forth all day um, Yeah, and this stuff would obviously have to be play tested to, to see the rates. 
at which all the stuff was coming in and adjusted from there. But um, I just wish there was more uh, overall balance in the across all the the players on the team, so that teams were generally speaking, if just played naturally, sort of had this progression that was a little more even. Um, just because they're all sort of doing all the things that they should be doing, right? Like even linemen are dodging out a lot, and getting a little hit, you know XP from that. And it could just be the table's not granular enough. I mean, even one point isn't granular enough to do the things you want to do. So you you break it up so that uh, you know the XP table is is larger. You need 50 points to get to second level, but. You give 25 for a touchdown and, you know, two for a dodge or, you know, whatever it is. But Hey, Wild Blue, 25. How you doing, man? Yeah, haven't restarted him. I, uh... <laughs> I'm sticking with them. I'm having a lot of fun with them, even though they've been pretty unlucky. Oh, he has a wizard. I forgot all about his wizard. No, don't surf me. He surfed me. Doesn't he know I have a niggle? That's not cool. A chance to be injured again. I don't know, there's just some random thoughts I was having about the SPP system. Yeah, because I am tired of seeing, you know, basically SPP hogs. You want to give the players some control to, uh, you know, put the SPPs where he wants them. Scoring touchdowns on certain guys, you know, things like that. But, uh... I don't know how many of us would, if we could pick exactly where the SPPs all went every game, we were just given 20 points or whatever, um, how many of us would have one guy who's level 7 and the rest of them level 2 versus, you know, spread nicely amongst all the different dudes? And I imagine it would be spread nicely, right? So. The fact that the game isn't achieving that when you play in a sort of natural game bothers me. It seems like something that could be improved. Ball's not safe. I've got a thrower right here. Oh. A free KO when I wasn't looking. Run back, you fool. The pass play is over. Do I have an Agi 5 right here? to make a GFI that is very sad indeed So his plan, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. I guess I can cut that a little here.
Don't do that. Yeah, that helps a lot too. I agree with that. It's uh, certainly no fun. Uh, to get there's no way I'm pulling this off it just means I get a loner surfed and that we'll see Oh. I told you, I'm not very good at those. Hey, MGP. Hey, Captain Blood. Yeah, I actually like the MVP system fairly well. I totally agree with the dead player and, and uh, journeyman. Well... I definitely agree with the journeyman. The dead player's got some, there's some story there. There's some thematics, you know, which is kind of cute. Um, it does feel punishing because your team isn't progressing and potentially one of the biggest parts of your progression comes from the MVP, if, especially if you have a terrible game. So it's especially bad to <laughs> when your guy um, or when your team doesn't get any SPPs essentially um, but there are some good things to a dead player potentially getting the MVPs um, but as far as like it being a random element I mean the whole MVP system is impossible for the AI to actually judge well who got the MVP you don't really want to give it the player maximum control over it because um, I think too much of that is sort of not in the spirit of Blood Bowl as far as the game design spirit goes where l random stuff has always happened and your progression of your team is pretty random um, and it would also just create more min-maxi situations which ultimately I think homogenize the game too much um but, yeah, it definitely feels punishing when you don't get the SPPs on a guy that you want. So, that could be improved. Man, oh man, this game's getting away from me. They haven't exploded. I'm on the, I'm on the upswing with this team. MJP, I got, I got eight players. I have four, count them, four, one, two, three, four catchers. Are you kidding me? And only three. I got more catchers than journeymen. That's like the greatest feeling ever. I'm still like a hundred games away from having any kind of bench, but I'm getting there. Oh, I would have loved to have seen a double, a snake eye there. Look at all my guys just having fun down here. They're like, hey, we're waiting for you to throw the ball. I already threw it, guys. You know, Large Thud, the only reason he intercepted is because he has Adji on one of his strength pieces. So, time to step down off your soapbox, I guess. <laughs> he was right all along. <laughs> Just like shadowing on a blitzer.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't get there. I go there, 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 there. Ouch. Ouch, I says. Two more GFIs and no rerolls to get an assist. Oy. Boy, I say. I could surf Glart, though. And only get counter surfed a little bit. I don't know what to do here. I guess I just make it hard for him to cage up and stall, so I still have a chance to score on my drive. Now we'll see. No! Let's go for a ride, Glart. I've just taken the mighty blow hit. Instead, I'm going to GFI with my mighty blow catcher with no rerolls. And then trust in this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I'm concentrating. Good decisions all around. Gets to surf my dude. Just a surfing party down here. Boop. What's he gonna do with that blitz though? Try to dodge away? Just wanted to use his blitz. I'm happy if he tries to dodge away. He scores! Alright, let's pretend that first six turns didn't happen. And we're going to do a two turn passing play. Sands interceptions. Hmm? It's not going to lightning bolt me at all. Now oh, he's trying to cover the line. Crazy town. Out of re rolls. Sorry, though, because I got pass and catch both things that are needed. In the game of Blood Bowl.
Punch that goblin down. Punch that edgy four thrower down. That's cool. Yeah, Captain Marvelous, I'm afraid, has been a bit of a choker his entire career. Take that, goblin scum. You can do it, boys. Creating Fireball Central right here. Yes, I am. Huzzah! Who does he bolt? The ball carrier? That's a good scatter.
It's going to be hard to convert. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can make it potentially. sure about that but okay that gave me a two dice here against the ball Oof. Interceptions, anyone? Oof. Yeah, his ball placement. He was better where he was. I've had a hard time getting two dice if he just kind of worked around my four strength guy. Maybe he saw something I didn't see that he felt he had to guard against. Look at that, full team. I don't know what that, it's so weird. I'm not used to this. Not used to this at all, but I'll take it.
Oh, it's turn eight. Extra blocks. One turn attempt. Madness. Who's going to fly with the ball? What? Just what Daddy ordered. I knew I did rule five or something. <laughs> Pals all game. That's what the pros do. Do you want to play like a pro? Have you considered Pals all game? I know I have. And it would be nice. Nerves of steel. Get another blitz right after this. No. Nope. Defenseless catcher making magic happen. He's about to get three dime magic, though. At least he's not going to score. The magic pal. Here it comes. Oh! Push city. Just give me one more turn, just one more. 
What does that cost? Got him. Now he gets kicked. Nerves of steel. <laughs> it is cute when it works. If they would just throw him the ball, come on. Come on, Colonel Captain Marvelous. This one worked out. Quick snap, not as good. A rookie Nurgle team. 12, 13 players, 10, 30. I don't know, no games played? There was an exploit recently where people were getting experienced teams in the champs ladder, but um, a one game played? It could have been a concede. Um, could have gotten enough money to buy that extra player. You probably got a fan factor. Um, it's definitely possible. Yeah. Not even that difficult. Once he has the... Uh, if you got to concede, like, you can get both MVPs on a guy and get plus strength on that guy. There's 50 TB right there. I guess by rookie you mean none of his guys were leveled up. But yeah, the twelfth, the twelfth and thirteenth player would do it. Getting a visit from my blood bowl buddy Coco here. Uh oh. What happened there? Oh, he passed it or something. No, the KO. Oof. Say hi, Coco. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Now say goodbye. Now say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for the visit. All right. Back 
to life in the real world, the Blood Bowl universe. better I'd say he was trying to push down this side I think he's trying to fake me out though getting punched stunned The old chainsaw and bribe, huh? No! Don't pow my catchers. You gonna try and one die my dodger? with his super heroic goblin where do we get the one and nine that takes him out of the game He's just gonna let him sit. Wow, that's tempting. Guess I'll hit them both. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Do I foul him? No. Do I? No. But do I? But seriously, do I? <laughs> Too tempting. Madness. Dude's blessed.
Is he carrying with the leaper? He's gonna just wait to make his big jump into the end zone. I need another goblin off the pitch. I'm trying. It's just not coming together. left. It's a big decision. Don't do it. There you go. Hmm. I can get in on the ball here. The one die. Push him. But I'm not going to bother with the push. I'm going to go straight for the beats. Oh man. One die is going to be glorious. That's a tough one. Strength for sure hands is ridiculously strong against Woody's. But for everyone else, block is way better. Did I mention I have dodge and add g5? And completely ridiculous.
Blodge we trust. No. No. <laughs> KO'd him. Ridiculous. Unfortunate scatter. We trusted in Blodge. Let us down. Take that, squishy loner. Get out. Hmm. One less goblin. Everyone's favorite quantity of goblin. Let's 
It's going to be a close one. He's getting numbers up on me. But he's pretty far back. So if he wants to win, he's going to have to do some real moving up the field. If he cages up, then I just go back into stall mode and we draw, probably. But my IG5's off the pitch, so... Two guys up to help with the cage. He's got one reroll too, so mistakes are at a premium right now. Oh, there goes the last reroll. Could try to one die this out of the way and then get two dice on the ball. Probably the right thing to do. I just messed up there. Oh, you can dodge into three tackle zones, can you? No, I cannot. He's out of rerolls. Fair bit of risk this turn. Blocks, etc. Dodges. Blocks with the big guy. Rock can fail.
No. Not Colonel Captain Marvelous. Out for a game. Who's going to throw my passes now? Who? Pretty much anyone. Is he going to go backwards? He's going to pass it. I like it. The one and nine instead of the one and three or one and six. Hmm. Boo. Much better. So I was looking for scoring position this turn. I should be looking for scoring position next turn. If I have a spare catcher.
This will be a tough sideline cage to pull off. Might be time to toss. Glart is the only scoring threat. Aside from a goblin throw. Still doing it. They can still do it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Very bloaty. But will he try and expose himself to a potential loss? I didn't look at his team before the game to see if he had any missing players. But man, only having one sub is, or, do you, or maybe two. He might have two. Maybe just one's missing. Because of his bloat, <sighs> he might only have two subs, which is another scary thing with Underworld. Just gonna hit me here? Yeah. Hit me, run into the end zone. Go for the catch. Right. Hand off, toss, definitely doable. Don't mess it up, Glart.
Don't throw it over my nerves of steel catcher. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Well then. Hmm. Yeah, I think the best way is just to go right in. I don't see any good blocks or pushes that can improve my situation that much. Problem here is you will have to pass it from two tackle zones since you can't dodge away. Could push him out of the way, blitz him out of the way. Yeah, that's better. Let the catcher do it. Then he'll be able to dodge out. Can you pick it up? Yes, you can. Whoa. <laughs> Classic elf BS. Profit! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is the worst, man. Nurgle, rookie Nurgle team just wrecking your blodgers. Yeah, I got a lot of draws with my Amazons too. I don't, they're just not, 
they're not fast enough to score consistently like against slower teams because they're, they're not, just not that much faster and handoffs and all that are all risky and you can't capitalize on all the stuff that elves can capitalize on they are they are reasonably good at stopping touchdowns unless you're having the problem you mentioned new kid which is they're just powing your blodgers all day Ooh, too tall brown gets in on the MVP yeah that's just the way it goes you're just not allowed to win some games of blood bowl that's just that's just how it goes But yeah, the. I mean, 1 1 is the expected result. So something has to happen. Dice, an amazing play. Um, you know, kickoff event that's just crazy. In order for that 1 1 to be broken into something else. Uh, I think it's Mark three. I think he started as a lineman, so I think he died as a lineman, and then became a catcher, died as a catcher, and now he's he's back for more. Look at that armor. Woo! Same blocks. It looks like by playing matches with nearby opponents, or you can select a coach to play against anywhere in the world. Yes, I can afford two linemen. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The question is, should I? Should I, though? I mean, I can, but should I? I'll think about that. Anyway, that was game 16 for Underworld. Got a sneaky elf BS play at the end there to win it. Uh, that was uh, the sixth win. <laughs> Seventh. Seven, two, and seven. It's approaching <laughs> respectable. I don't know about that, but. Uh, all right. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and come follow me on Twitch. See you soon for the next game.